is she going boys Mike here welcome back to Grampy's workshop or the lake room anyways uh, I still posting out these videos that I made before Janet went in the hospital to have her hip surgery but a quick update on Janet uh, she was to see the surgeon again so it's been two weeks now since her surgery and her hip is healing well but uh, she has other health issues like she has IBS and she has uh, bladder issues things like that and that's really really uh, holding us back right now but anyway, she's she's a strong girl. Oh, we dying. She's strong. She amazes me with the her intestinal fortitude to battle and fight this. I know I get pretty down sometimes about what's going on and like not able to help her. Uh, and you no, know, she battles right through and she brings me up. And I'm supposed to be looking after her, but she uh, she brings me back. And so God love her. And thanks a lot for all your prayers and the well wishes. I really appreciate all that. So keep those coming. Thank you. And uh, this video that I have. Uh, I have to apologize too because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get out of the shop for a while with Janet recuperating like this because I need to stay in the camp here and tend to her. Uh, so I made a, some videos about doing the drawers on the bench and I'm sort of dragging those out eh, so that I can can have some content to post. So apologize for every video about being out the drawers. So in this video we're going to finish them up. I'm going to actually install the drawers in the bench. I'm going to put fun front faces on the drawers and we're going to put some drawer pulls on it so check it out so I'm getting ready to mount the drawers in the openings here and uh, what I need to do is make sure that I get these side slides <laughs> uh, connected properly on the drawer uh, and to be honest I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go about doing that I know that I would like to have the drawer be up off the bottom piece here by about a quarter of an inch uh, so what I have is I have some pieces of pine here that are a quarter of an inch thick so that'll work I can use those as a spacer uh, the other thing I'm struggling with is uh, like how am I going to hold the drawer in there I don't know how to do it so what I did was I, I made these little jigs I don't know if they're going to work or not we're going to try them all of this is that quarter inch pine and then I an inch and a half block and then a little lip on the end of it the idea being is that I can slide that in there hook that over that 2x4 and I made one for the other side and it can go in here so that will uh, I don't have to worry now about these pieces moving uh, they protrude out the back far enough and then this lip will hold them so that they won't tip like if they were like this with weight on them like that they would tip up and I don't want them to do that I want them to stay tight down here at the front and I can't put a clamp on it because the drawer is going to be in there all right so having done that then I think I can pull these slides out Yep, like that and then I have my drawer and the uh, glue is just about set up so this is going to go in here something like so and uh, my little spaces there are supporting it pretty good uh, but what I want to do is get about halfway the drawer halfway out so that it sits kind of decent uh, and then I can line these up to the front edge of the drawer fronts put a screw in there uh, I think that'll work so I spent a lot of time making sure that I could get my drawer slides here at right angles to the face so now the trick is to make sure that when I mount my drawer my drawer is parallel uh, with or, or even with the drawer slides with the drawer like that kind of halfway balanced I can measure here and that's seven eighths of an inch same thing Seven, eight. so it's not looking too bad now I'm gonna go back to my uh, center punch tapered center punch so what I'm going to do is just once again verify that the drawer slider is flush with the front and it is and then in the center of that vertical slotted uh, screw hole I'll just make a little tap like that we'll put this in here and see what happens that doesn't look too bad so let's try this one that's flush with the front like I want it to be in the middle a quick little smash set the screw in place excuse my head here folks okay so that's what I was wanting to check there that the drawer was going to be inside the face here and it is so I'm going to pull that out to the next hole and do the same thing with it just 
checking to make sure that there's still seven eighths of an inch in there. I can't locate the back hole here the way the sliders are. So now what we're going to have to do is take the drawer off the sliders. And we do that by just pushing down on these little clips and pulling out. And just to confirm this, 7 eighths, 7 eighths, 7 eighths. Okay, we can take our spacers out now. I don't think we need those anymore. They work good. I'm liking the drawer slide though, I have to say that. Alright, there we go. So the drawer opens full width. And it closes nice. I like it. So that's good. And the other thing too, you can see, I don't know whether you can see that or not, but it's about, I don't know, uh, an eighth of an inch, the drawer sets an eighth of an inch back from the face of the bench. So that's good. That tells me that that'll keep pressure around the drawer all the time. And hopefully that might keep it a little bit more dust tight, right? I'm going to do the other two drawers and then we'll show you the end result. Okay, there's the three of them installed. Full extension. Slow closing. Full extension. Slow closing, full extension, slow closing. So I'm going to cut the fronts now for my drawers. And I have these drawer fronts that came off an old dresser that we got from my father one time. So I'm going to put this edge against the fence. And I'm going to set my fence at 8 inches. And we're going to rip it. And I've got three of these because uh, none of the drawers are big enough to make two out of it. So I need all three of them. So we're going to set up and rip these to width. I have these cut to width now, but uh, it, because this is just a particle board with a veneer on it, it chipped quite a bit. So I'm going to have to tidy up those edges with some sandpaper, but I can do that. That's no big deal. Big deal. Now, these drawers, uh, they had finger joints here, or actually, well, I was going to say they were dovetail, but they're not dovetail. But it was a type of joinery that they made when they made the drawers. Uh, so I don't need that part, so I'm going to cut that off. Okay, now I need three drawer fronts, so the first one is going to be 19 inches long. Alright, now the other one is going to be 19 and 5 eighths and 18 and 3 quarters, so I'm going to cut those up now too. Alright, so there's my three drawer fronts. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get the sanding block and soften up the edges. Then we're going to go lay them out on the drawer fronts. So I'm getting ready to put the drawer fronts on the drawer boxes. Okay, and I want to get this right because if I don't set it and get it just quite right, it'll uh, haunt me forever. I found the center from top to bottom from left to right and lay did some layout lines here. And then I took my drawer pulls, found out where they would be located, and then I... I set a couple of spots here to drill some through holes because my plan is to put screws through here into the drawer boxes to secure the front on the drawer so then I can open the drawer and attach the drawer fronts with screws from the inside. So that's all pretty straightforward. In order to help locate the drawer fronts so that all three of them will be the same height and everything, I have, re I have uh, installed this straight edge here 
And I also made allowances when I sized the drawer fronts to have about a half inch of coverage around the drawer openings. So that's going to go on there. And the next one, of course, will go here. So they'll all be the same height, so they won't look terrible. Uh, the other thing is locating them left to right. So what do I do there? Because this is half inch stock, or inch and a half stock, inch and a half, and so on, and a half inch reveal, half inch re or coverage on either side, leaves a half inch down the middle. I have a half inch piece here to check that gap, uh, but I also have a one inch thick piece to set up this left side. So that goes there, something like that, and this half inch piece will go here, and then the next drawer front will go up against it. See how that's going to work? Pretty slick, eh? Smarter than your average bear. Anyhow, uh, so that looks good right there. I also have some two inch screws that I'm going to put in here to secure this drawer front to the box. And then uh, once it's screwed in place, these screws should go right through and then I'll take it out and drill the holes or drill the holes first uh, because I need to get access to those holes to put the handles on. <laughs> okay, there we go. That one doesn't look too bad. That one doesn't look too bad. And the screws went right through, so that's going to work good. Now, The reason I'm tightening those up is because the drawers, remember when I made the drawers, I made them set back from the face a little bit. So when I put that screw in there, it didn't pull it in right tight to the front of the drawer. But that one looks pretty good right there. So now I have inch and a half screws to secure the front on the box here. And I think I'm going to put six of them in here. through so that's a plus now the issue I have is how do I hold my pull on here to ensure that I get those lined up perfect I think before I put the pulls on I'm going to go ahead and put the other drawer fronts on so I've got this one laid out now with the mounting hole so this cover is going to go on here with the half inch spacer in here Doink. Just like that. All right. All right. Now we put the screws inside just like we did before. So we put our spacer here, our drawer front here, and then just check this uh, on the edge. Perfect. There's the fronts on, and I like that they close and they're tight. Well, I mean, they're rubbing on this. Don't need the straight edge on here anymore. Let's just see what happens when we take that off. So now, when we open the door, they close and they close tight pretty good all the way around there. So I did a good job getting them at right angles, I think. So it doesn't look too bad. So the next thing I want to do is put this straight edge on here so I can align my drawer pulls here so they'll all be the same height, eh? Wouldn't that be kosher? So I made my mark uh, like down 3 eighths of an inch from the center line because my drawer pulls are 3 quarters of an inch wide. So then I clamped this center line, this uh, straight edge on there and I attached it to all three drawers. <laughs> So now this just goes right in here, but one thing I need to do is I need to extend the center line here up higher. So that's 18 and 3 quarters, so that's uh, 9 and, uh, let me see, 
half. Here's a, here's a quick way to divide distances in half. If you measure this drawer front, it's 18 and three quarters. So half of half of that, let me see, half 18 is nine, right? Nine, nine, half 18. Half of three eighths is you just, uh, or sorry, half of three quarters is you just double the bottom number and the top number stays the same. So how do you find a half of 18 and three quarters? It's nine, that's a half of 18 and three eighths, just double the bottom number. So the four becomes an eight, so it's nine and three eighths. So nine and three eighths is right there. And if you look on this side, nine and three eighths is right there. How about that? And then we'll set our square up here. So then we put our mark right here. So that's where the center line of that drawer pull is going to go, right here. Look at that. Just like that. See that? So I think I'm ready to go to put this handle on. We will line up. I've already marked the center line here. So we just set it on the straight edge, line up the center line, hold it in place. All right, there you go. There's one. We're doing so good, we may as well continue, right? Line up our center line. And then we'll do the last one. There we go. Now we can take all our clamps off. Now with the clamps off, Not bad, eh? Three drawers complete. So there, I think the drawers on the workbench are finished. <laughs> I probably have other things going on in that bench before it's all said and done. I had lots of nice comments about the, the way I was building the drawers, so thanks a lot for that. I wanted to build the drawers good and sturdy, right? Because I'm not sure what I'm going to be putting them in them. Putting in them, I could be putting, you know, paper in them. I could be putting steel in them, who knows? But anyway, so good and sturdy, I think. And I'm, I hope you all like the end product of my drawers. <laughs> it was a long time coming, but anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, appreciate all your comments. Don't forget to thumbs up me. Ring that bell, and I'll let you know when I post another video. And it might not be on Tuesdays and Fridays, because it's getting hard now to, uh, to get my videos made. <laughs> thanks, folks. Thanks for watching. Sure appreciate it. Sure appreciate all your well wishes and prayers for Nanny. That's just outstanding. It touches me right here. And uh, without them... I don't think we would make it. So thanks very much for that. We've got a lot of great friends on YouTube, around the lake here, around our community in town, around our family, everybody. They've been so nice to us, taking care of us. So thanks everyone for it all. Virtual hugs. <laughs> Take care. Have a great week. Hey, we'll talk to you.